Banastali Vidyapet in Rajasthan awarded Rajiv Gandhi National Sadbhavana Award. NAC assessment a must for all education institutions in Mahasailendra Dilonkar. Tamil Nadu NEET UG Counseling Round 2 Schedule 2023 out. Registration forms from August 21st. Three districts in Nagaland shut schools as conjunctivity cases rise. Good afternoon and warm welcome. You're watching Education News Network where you get to watch the latest developments in education at the top of this hour. This is Balaji reporting from ENN and the daily stories are. The news article discusses an event where Congress leader Sonia Gandhi and others gathered to award the 25th Rajiv Gandhi National Sadbhavana Award to Banastali Vidyapet, a women's educational institution in Rajasthan. The award is given for promoting peace, communal harmony and national unity. Sonia Gandhi emphasized the importance of countering hearted and discrimination in times of political direction. Other speakers highlighted the Rajiv Gandhi's efforts to empower women and youth. The event underscored the need for dialogue and constitutional means to resolve differences and promote harmony in India's diverse society. Siddhartha Shastri of Banastali Vidyapit also spoke about the institution's history and commitment to education. The state government has now implemented a provision that allows universities to withdraw affiliation from colleges that do not undergo NAAC assessment. Colleges failing to undergo the assessment are also prevented from admitting first-year students. Over 1,900 colleges in Maharashtra have undergone evaluation, which led to the state being recognized during a program in Delhi celebrating the implementation of national education policy. The NAB is being rolled out in Maharashtra under the guidance of the state's higher and technical education minister. The state's dedication to maintaining quality has resulted in its top ranking in NAAC assessments. The government is also working to enhance the quality of other colleges through a specific scheme. Tamil Nadu Directorate of Medical Education and Research has announced the schedule for the second round of counselling for the Tamil Nadu NEET UG 2023 on the official website. The counselling process will take place from August 21st to 22nd with candidates making choices to locking them. The choices of locking process window is from August 24th to 28th. Results will be declared on August 31st and the provisional allotment orders will be available from September 1st to 4th on tamilnadumedicalselection.net. Students allotted seats must join by September 4th and tuition fee payment is required to download the provisional allotment order. Reallotted candidates from the first round need to pay only the difference amount if applicable. In Nagaland, three districts have temporarily closed schools for a week due to a surge in conjunctivity cases. The affected districts have closed schools till August 26th. The decision was taken to curb the spread of infections, especially among children. Since July 1st, the state has recorded 1,006 cases for conjunctivities, with Dimapur reporting the highest number, 721. The closure aims to address the situation and the health officials are optimistic that it will help to reduce the cases. However, a private schools association has requested reconsideration of the closure, stating that the outbreak is manageable in the schools. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, do log on to our website, theenn.com, and do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.